Legoland Granny's Apple Fries Copycat Recipe, a sweet treat to relive the fun. If you've ever visited Legoland, chances are you've been enchanted by their famous Granny's Apple Fries, a warm, crispy, and cinnamon spice treat served with different toppings. These apple fries capture the perfect balance of tartness from the apples and sweetness from the cinnamon sugar coating, making them a must-have when exploring the park. But what if you could bring that magical taste home? With this copycat recipe, you'll be able to recreate the same delicious apple fries in your own kitchen. It's an easy-to-make dessert that requires just a few simple ingredients, but packs a punch of flavor that will transport you right back to the fun and excitement of Legoland. Whether you're looking for a nostalgic treat or something new to wow your friends and family, these apple fries are sure to be a hit. Let's dive into the recipe and get frying. Bismillah. Pick sweet and tart apples of your choice. But for this specific recipe must use tart apples. I'm using honey crisp apples here. Remove the peel and cord from the apples. Cut into french fries shape. In 2 cups of sliced and cut apples, add 1 tablespoon of vinegar and half a cup of milk. You can alternate milk with buttermilk. Mix and set aside. In a Tupperware, add 1 cup of all-purpose flour. Add marinated apples in batches. You can add 1 quarter teaspoon salt, optional, for balancing the sweetness of the apples. My apples are already tart so I'm not adding salt. Cover the lid and shake until each apple sticks well coated with flour. Deep fry these on 300 Fahrenheit on stovetop or by using electric deep fryer. Fry in small batches. Stir in between frying for even color and cooking. Once turned nicely golden brown, take it out by draining the oil. Continue frying more. In Tupperware, add 1 cup of brown sugar, add 2 tablespoons of cinnamon powder. You can reduce or increase the cinnamon powder according to your preference. Mix and add hot fried apples. Cover the lid and shake till well coated. Note, for best results always use tart apples. And you can use light brown sugar or dark brown sugar according to your preference. Serve with your choice of toppings, like whipped cream, caramel sauce, cream cheese frosting, peanut butter, ice cream, sprinkles, toffee chips, or enjoy as is. You can check out my homemade caramel sauce, toffee, and cream cheese frosting recipes. Links are shared in description below. Note down the ingredients. If you like this recipe, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe for upcoming recipes. Thanks for watching.